We're going to talk about season five. Okay. And I want to know, in your opinion, why does everyone keep saying it's the biggest, it's the best? What is so different about season five? What can we? What do we have to look forward to? Um, I think it's been like a slow burn. Like uh, Better Call Saul's been... I mean, everyone really has been waiting for, I think, Breaking Bad, like that that world to kind of, you know, start emerging. But I think the big thing is is that it's it's always been there. It's just that this is a this plot is specific to to Saul, and it's its own show. So I think people were finally starting to get comfortable with, oh, okay, it's a whole different show, pretty much. You know, same world, but now the worlds are really kind of stakes are rising and things are are kind of uh, blending. Yeah, so I think you're starting to find the old world and then the new world coming together. And what can we expect from your character this season in this new world, old world coming together? Oh God, um, more more bad. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit more of that. More uh, boss man taking boss man's orders over here, Gustavo. You know. And uh, and I think you kind of see the the leadership. You're starting to see the layers and the complexity of uh, Gus Fring's world and Los Pollos Hermanos and our kind of our whole organization and how we how we uh, how we try to um, tame and contain uh, Nacho as well. So there's there's a lot of that, at least from our storyline. Um, from the other storylines, I as a I'm also a fan of the show, so I really try to only read what is pertains to my character because I want all this to be fresh I want to watch it like the audience like fans watch it you know and since you're a fan of both shows I've got to ask you which one is your favorite Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul if you had to choose wow you know what I mean Breaking Bad I think is is always gonna have a special place because it was so new um, we didn't know where it was gonna go and then it just we went up from there and now Saul I think I love it because we're 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 still we're we're building on what's already a, a mountain you know so uh, but yeah better call I think Breaking Bad was if I was gonna choose something it would be yeah I think so too between me and you yeah so what I just you know actually I'm gonna ask you I'm just curious okay. you're such a great actor who are some actors that you looked up to growing up hmm. um, Benicio del Toro yeah I mean I think he's Still uh, very amazing. Al Pacino, uh, Robert De Niro. But w I worked, um, when I was working in behind the camera, I was an assistant to Alejandro Nuratu, who, and one of my favorite, you know? And I was working for him on 21 Grams. And this was just kind of totally crazy. So I was working with Benicio, one of my favorite actors. And movie, the show wrapped, and then we're back here in LA. The chances of this are insane, but we're driving down the 10. I'm driving westbound, he's driving eastbound, and just for a second, our cars stop. And he looks in at me, he has this 21 hat. I look at him and he's just like, I was like, it was so crazy. That was that was insane. So Benicio, I'd have to say, is definitely up there. Yeah. That is a great one. What shows are you binging when you're not binging your own shows, your own awesome shows? What shows are you binging right now? Uh, Succession. Um, you. Yeah, I like you. Um, I, I've been uh, starting to watch um, Stranger Things. I mean, there's so many good shows. Yeah. Um, but I think definitely Succession has a really, has a deep place. Yeah. I, I love the writing. I love the world. Yeah. We're on the same page. We all love good writing. We're all excited to see season five's good writing. We're so excited to see you in it. And thanks for taking time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank